Yo, what is up guys? This is Beast 44 Gaming bringing you another episode of the Walking Dead series. I am so excited about this game. Like I'm going to be all, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the first 4, maybe 5 episodes that I've recorded of this series that are going to go up have been recorded all within like 24 hours of each other. Like this has been such a fun game. I I kid you not. And I is still here with us, you know. She is she's Hi. I don't even know if it's picking up my voice when I do that. It it definitely is. <laughs> yes, she has been helping along the way because I've been going off on tangents and not paying attention. Well, she has actually been paying attention and she has actually helped us get out of some pretty sticky situations in terms of uh, in terms of key choices. So we're going to continue. We are on episode two of The Walking Dead. However, this is probably episode four or five of the series on my channel. Does that make sense? Doesn't matter. Anyways, let's get into it. Believe we left off just after that one dude shotgun the crap out of that other dude, if I'm remembering correctly. And they were about to head to the farm with the St. John brother. Is that yeah. okay? Let's just let's just say again how impeccable these graphics are. All right. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. I adjust my chair. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. But what about their brains? I'm going to assume Wait, that's I thought a lot. it was because of like if their brains don't. Yeah, it just keeps them from like being able to move. Oh, like being able to get in at least. Yeah. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. Yeah. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, I thought I saw y'all. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Oh, this God. here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. Jesus. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, can he work on guys? We work, we work together. together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Well, we now made it that safe. All are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. I don't feel comfortable every time she looks at me, is that? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ooh. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. A good long while see? there, honey. What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our I'm whole so group cringy. for the day. <laughs> well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? So it's Dan and Andrew, right? Why don't I head back or with the food the and round Dan up everyone and... for the Danny trip over here? Andy. Might want to take Dan someone with you. Okay. Remember, Andy. those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. All right. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. All right. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? We should do whatever we can to help out. Let's make sure this place before is safe. we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. 
Exactly. Check the defense perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yeah. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay, so we gotta go talk to Andy then? No. All right. Oh, now we get the free walk again. All right, we got the axe still, so... In case we need to chop off some heads again. Walk in the door. Come on. They just... Why are... Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Not gonna help you with anything around the house. I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away did, in the kitchen. Where did Andy go? But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Well, I thought Andy was in the, the whatchamacallit. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? For the group. Oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home cooked meal tonight. Well, if okay. anything comes up right. that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I'm she will remember that. Did I ask about the rooms? No problem. Oh, uh, no, not you offered to help. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, um, this, oh, what is this? Shoe bucket. What is in the shoe bucket? Everything in here looks safe. And now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. All right, so we gotta remember that the rope is in the shoe bucket. Uh, let's look at the awards. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Mm. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. <laughs> My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. All right. Well, aren't we supposed to find out stuff from Andy? Yeah. Is, there, is there anything on this side? The wind chimes. Used to have these on the front porch of my house growing up. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's probably too soft. Mmm, fresh nice. herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Okay, I think we've already looked at everything we can up on this one. So we're going back down. Now, where, where did Andy go? Oh, over here. Talk to Andy. Um, okay. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm Hi. glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Stockpiling? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? You earned they we have several a guns. guns to protect ourselves, but All right. we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. I don't know. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm walkers? thinking. <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> that's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark right. and I can help you found you out the other survivors have stayed at the farm. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walk okay. in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. So is he you telling the truth that other people have moved on, or like have, have they... Here and finish up with the is, is there something more sinister well, going that'd on That'd be here. great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Well, what so if while we're looking enough. for weak points, dude, come, come on Never over. Know. 
I was just, I was just about to say, like, <laughs> you, you turn off that section of the fence and all of a sudden, bam, there's like 40 of them. Oh, I gotta crack my back. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Yeah. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully, hopefully trying to be optimistic here. I don't know. I didn't want. I didn't want to. Oh, there's one. Yeah, it, with an arrow in him, though. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Ugh. Wait. Look at light. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah, okay. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Jesus. Looks Ugh. like he's stuck. Oh, we gotta get this, don't we? I don't trust this. Disgusting. Alright. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Fortress needs to defend the fortress it. needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on Am the ambulance? They seem to have this I don't even know, I don't even know what that word means. Well. I I'll admit. Oh, what was this question? What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. All right. That's all. Thanks. That's good. It's good to know that we, we got a. Oh I dang! See it. Another guy. Yeah, that time he definitely got caught on the fence. Ooh, their hands are still caught on the. Yeah, the fence burned right into its hands. Ah. They fused together. Oh no, please don't tell me we gotta hack off the hands. Man, the fence oh, okay. right into its hands. Didn't matter which hand I did, alright. Together. Alright, I guess we gotta hack off the hands. <laughs> oh! That was sudden. Okay. Yep. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Okay, that is interessante. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet. Hey, we gave the kids food. Yeah. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Oh, there's that. Oh, Come dang, on. that really I think I see down. where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place. So wait, how is wait? What way is he tangled in there? I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> that guy looks like he's tangled. I don't know. I don't because that one isn't. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come uh. on. All right. Let's see. Come on, come on, push. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the heck? What the? Get to the gate. What in the world? Get down! You asshole! Jesus! 
Who's shooting arrows at us? Who the fuck is that? No we had an agreement? Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Who in the fuck? Take out this thing. And then we'll move it along with us. Move the thing. Give us the food. Oh, come on. Why is it not moving? Is there another thing? Oh, it's because of this thing. Get down. Plates are stuck in the dirt. How do we get this thing off? Jesus. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. Get to the gate using the tractor's cover. Who, who are they? Are these the people from earlier? Okay, so these are the bandits. They had an agreement. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Gonna have to move him? Jesus. That doesn't look like a guy from earlier, but okay. Alright. How far? That, that gate didn't look that far away. Another dude? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Arrangement. What are you talking about? Now I am, I am so. Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh, dang. Again? Why is it the time they repeatedly kick these things in the face? No, you're not You're not biting my hand off. That's my good hand. That's my good hand. No. Oh, dang. Why are they still going at it? You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right Oh, that thing's, that thing's crawling after me. Better not get marked. I swear to God. God. What? Oh, dang. Let's get out of here. Get through the gate, come on. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Who was that? Oh god. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, he yelled, what happened to you? He yelled after it came on, though. Bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Don't hey, give him the all clear. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It is. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. 
I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with that's the, that, I think that's the you first time this entire series I've actually agreed with Larry. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. All right. Hey, uh, I remember that? seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Aww. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Make sure it's Any safe. Time, we're looking out for you. Okay. Here's the gates. What am I looking for? Generator. Let's check out the generator. Let's make sure this thing is is well. Okay, that was a weird cut. That thing keeps the fence electrified. I know it keeps the fence electrified. You don't think I know that? <laughs> He's like that thing keeps the fence electrified. Like no kidding. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. No kidding. You're just standing a ton of the obvious here. Saw. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. And then boards. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Okay. Picket. Hmm. Pointy. Point. Pointy. Hmm. Pointy. Like, are we just stating things that are obvious here? Like, what is this? Can we go in the barn? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough oh my god! Can we not go in? I, I thought that's what I was. Of us could camp out here in shifts. I thought that's what I thought that's what I was. Hey bales. Hey bale. Hey bale. Lots of hay. Oh, oh look, look at look at him in the background, Kenny and Duck. If that becomes a on the swing. All right. Um, I guess there's nothing over here for us to do, which is disappointing. Oh, there's a lot of hay over there. You get through the gate again. Here you go. Oh wait. Oh, I, when, since when have they been over there? Since when were they over there? I I didn't even see them go over there. In that gazebo. Oh, let's let's go up to the to the St. John's. See what they're plotting. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry. You almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. Uh, you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. God, Hell, why, his yeah. facial expressions just creep me out. people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Mmm. What do you think? Yeah? You ready to go? Yeah. Alright. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Aw, Clementine. <laughs> Lee? Clementine, say something! She looks so sad. What? She just ran over there and said nothing. See anything? Not yet. I swear to God, if I get shot in the I neck with an arrow, here. it's gotta be close. That or if this dude sticks the barrel of the gun up up my keister. I swear to God. Oh shit, you found it?
We're doing military signals now? Jesus. Oh, we're scoping out the place. Okay. Oh, can I move it? Nope. I can't move it. Save lots. Sneak up to the camp. Can... Hello? Oh, I was gonna say it wasn't letting me you move. See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Well, don't stick the barrel of your gun in there. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. What is... The cattle? Did I steal the cattle from you, Jim Bob? Just water. They're boiling water. The crates. Nothing. How about the box? Nothing. Empty. There's really just nothing here. What are we? What are we? What are we? What? Are we, what, are we, what? Examine the the chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. And then the tent. The tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Okay. Kid size. So they've got kids too. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes though? Is it just food? What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. They have some boxes from St. John Derry. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What's in the boxes, though? What? Why are you not checking what's what in the box? Oh, wait, that's a camera. A video that camera. Like a, a vi that's a video? Let me see that. What type of vintage shit is this? It's like an iPod. That dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Good. Let's see he if we said can find good. anything useful and then get a move on. What? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Eh. Oh, we got a camera. I want to see what's in those boxes. Anything else? No. Oh. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Alphabet Recently. soup. Yeah, that's definitely kids. Then the trash. Yuck. I don't need that. Sir? Oh. Okay, so we just need to examine the tent again. What in the world? Okay, so yeah, this okay, this is a little girl. A bloody bunny. Oh, man. What about the picture? What? That looked like the chick from the St. John place. Where else are we? Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? This isn't a bandit camp. Was more like. Yeah, there's no way this is a bandit camp. 
Is that Clementine's hat? No. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, Jolene? we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the Who fuck are, are you? you? <laughs> oh, God. That evil Look, laugh. It's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. Jesus. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Oh, take God. what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Where'd you get the Yeah, take I don't know where the hat came from. It's not the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put, Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. Jesus. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. What the heck? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> Wait. You stole her. Was that her mom? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's you good shooting right there. That's what I'm. I, she Bill, said you stole her from me. Hoost? So that's it. We going back? Good. If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go trawling oh. through the woods looking for them. So yeah. But still, when did she back. even Once meet they Clementine? Us, they'll get the message. She had to get the hat somehow. Come on. Yeah, so that wasn't a bandit camp. I'll tell you after things happen, like something that really made sense to me that I just cl clicked with me right now. Okay. That was... That was a... I, that's a confusing ordeal. Sorry. I just realized stuff. Man, that was okay. a hell of a ride, huh? <laughs> Jesus, good. Danny. Yeah. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. He didn't say much, Jesus. Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry, I'm guessing that's the dad. My husband. Yeah, okay. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Jesus. Well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What are they fighting about now? Clearly income What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Mm. Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Yeah. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Exactly. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. Thank you, by the way. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Okay. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. The barn. The woman is a lifesaver. Alright. Sounds like it's getting pretty windy. I don't know, that's just... Yeah. Oh, Clementine. Did you bring the hat back? 
Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, like, did he... No, we just left it. I was gonna say, did he just leave it there? Give her the... Give her the hat. What are you doing? We already examined... I swear, I'm not gonna go back over there because I know she's gonna say, huh, this keeps the fence electrified. I'm like, no kidding! This was already explained in the manual that was hinted out at the Tuesday meeting. Jeez, that was loud. Give the hat to Clem. Min time. Aw, oh, cow. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> it's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. Oh. We'll see, Clementine. Dang. What is that? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Give the hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! <laughs> I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, oh. did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Oh. I haven't thought about it in a while. No. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well. Thanks for finding my hat. That was okay. Clear. Wow, that's a random question just to go with that. Nah, but you go on ahead. Okay. Look at the cow. She looks skinny. Skinny for a cow, I guess. Let's talk to Andy. Hey Let's there, see. Andy. Yeah. Jesus, he looks angry. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Uh Doc on Kate. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. That look on his face, man, I don't know. Yeah, he seems so Angry. Angry or tense, yeah. I don't like that. What what was the point of me opening the door? That uh -huh. Are we just observing things or Yeah. Oh, are we gonna just, like is there gonna be something in here that I need to see? Otherwise I don't get what the point of this is. Oh wait. Are they hiding cocaine in there? Boxes? We gotta keep checking what's in these boxes, Jesus. Empty. An empty box. Huh. And then what's out the door? It's locked. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. A noise? Well, my point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. It's a key lock. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? 
No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying. Oh that my God. Saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Penny, I thought Sorry. you weren't racist. I don't think he is. I think he just has hmm. slip-ups. Yeah. What? See those screws? That Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Uh, whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. You made all I crap. I around told a lie. Shoot. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. How's he doing? Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, I'm not I'm not liking this. Well, okay then. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. What the fuck am I supposed to do to get him out of the barn? What is what is this walking mechanism? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny, Danny mentioned. mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Well, yeah, we're not gonna ask him for a screwdriver. How do we? We get this okay. thing off. Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Oh my god. He was back quick. Jesus. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny needs something again. He hasn't left the place. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Oh my god. This. Alrighty then. It's find something out of the barn? Oh my god. Is there some oh is there some over here? Is there like a screwdriver here somewhere? No. Is there something in the salt lick? Are they hiding that cocaine in there? Well, it's not gonna get him out of the barn. It doesn't sound like there's anything in the barn. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Oh wait, a toolbox. Let's get this friggin' screwdriver. Or a pliers? I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Oh, look at the I'm good at looking at the electric fence. I'm good. Um, let's see here. Oh. In there. Oh crap! I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Ugh. Let's get the damn pliers. There you go. Ow! Damn ah. it! The thing is moving fast. Oh, we gotta turn it off, dumbass. Okay. All right. All sign from my background, and Andy's looking at me. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. God, uh, this take forever. Good, good. It'll take forever. Cause we kind of need that. Get through the gate door. Come on. Is there, is there not a running button? Because a lot of this time could be could be saved if I could just run. And now when we go back in the barn, it's going to be nighttime all of a sudden. It, look at that, that. That time shift yeah, does not make sense. I do not understand. Let's talk to Kenny. Tell him that we got we found the multi -tool. something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Well, as long as we get this quick enough... 
Oh, and the dinner bell. I'm assuming that's Mom, the dinner bell. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Oh. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Oh, God. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. All right. Looks like we're working by ourselves now. What if we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one exchange with what's his face? And I don't like that. We're gonna have to do this one by one for each of this. Oh my god! Just, just make it automatic that I do it. Like, oh my god! This is so redundant. It's just, it's obvious he's gonna do all the screws. Now peek inside. What in the world? Oh. Oh. Is that their butcher shop? Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Oh god, that face is so unsettling. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Why was it locked, though? Why was it locked? Why would you lock it? That, that wouldn't be something you just lock. I'm sorry, but it's it, I, it's not. It's not something you just lock. You can... Okay. Oh, Brenda, you are an angel. Uh, oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Got, is that a gun in his back pocket that I saw? Meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. That's suspicious. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait. What is, what is all this? Baseball trophy. Mm. Baseball trophy. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Yeah, no kidding. Look at scratches. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Yeah. This is the bathroom. I'm guessing we're not supposed to use the bathroom? I swear to God, if they start coming out of there... What is Mark doing? On oh, fucking real. I swear to God. We've, already, we've barely been here a day. Unbelievable. Okay, come on. Keep walking. Keep walking. Don't stop so they can see you. What? Huh, where is that cord going? Yeah, what the... F is there a secret door handle? Box of candles, a towel, medical supplies... Morphine. And they, morphine. What do they need so much morphine for? Yeah. What the hell? I guess supplies. someone needed some first aid recently. Mark, you dumb. Okay. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. Oh wait, IV. Tube? What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? What are they up to? the hell? There's something behind there. Is there a door over here? Oh, there's a door over here. I didn't see that. What in the... Oh, move the damn bookcase. Yeah, that's gonna make a noise. Well, this ain't spooky at all. You better be able to open the door. 
What? God. Clementine. Oh God, get down there. Get to Clementine before she eats. Jesus. What the walk down the stairs like that? Run. Clementine. Oh no. Clementine, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find Oh, something? ducks having it. Oh. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had to start. He could use some goddamn manners. Clark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything what? could have turned out okay for you folks. What? He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. It's not an implication, it's a statement of fact. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. How is he gonna- it's an arrow in the shoulder! Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What? What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't wanna die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Oh. No, 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 you better fucking let go of her. I swear to God. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! You better let go of her. What was that? What is, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh God! Oh! Oh Jesus Christ! What in the what? Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <laughs> I need a semi controller down after that. What was that, ladies and gentlemen? We, we're, we're we're gonna have to cut we're gonna have to, to cut the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, whoo, whoo, whoo. um, so many things have gone wrong in this one episode. Um, if you guys like the episode, make sure you guys leave a like and comment as always. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys know when what I am posting. Uh, series is, appears to be getting hot and heavy, as, as you can see. Mark got his legs chopped off because he got shot in the shoulder with an arrow. Everything makes sense in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Beast Red 4 Gaming, signing out of today's Walking Dead Season 1 episode.